Before this system was implemented, the owner was spending 50 hours or more per week manually handling hundreds of WhatsApp messages, managing orders and coordinating deliveries. He was basically tied to his phone 24 seven dealing with last minute changes. The system completely automated that process using these steps. First, it takes orders directly through WhatsApp. Customers using both buttons and just typing in natural language to select their product type, in this case, farm raised versus standard chickens, chicken size, and so on. The system checks and confirms inventory, gets the customer's delivery information, or routes them to a waiting list if demand is too high and inventory isn't available. The shop only gets a custom dashboard with all these details as they come in, so there's no need to constantly monitor it. All order confirmations, daily reminders, cancellations, and waitlist availability follow-up notifications are all managed by the app. This is a pretty fun combination of WhatsApp's business API, Superbase for database management and N8N for automation. And the really crazy thing is that this original system is bilingual. So it's shifting between French and Arabic as it needs to on the fly, sometimes with each sentence. Wassam charged $7,000 as a one-time fee with no retainer for the system. And the receipts are screenshotted here. What I love about the solution is that it demonstrates that AI automation isn't just for big brands. It can completely transform small specialty businesses too. And obviously this high volume commerce store can be adapted to pretty much any vertical of similar complexity. In the description below, there'll be a link to download a full breakdown of all of these in much more detail, including the tech stack you can use to build them and how to approach them generally. If you would like to learn more about this or get help building something similar, you can get in touch with Wissam with his details in the description below. Next, we have Mohammed, whose agency has absolutely transformed both in-store and online operations in his niche, which interestingly is geared towards sneaker resellers. 